this match uh, wasn't also easy to uh, to prepare, but uh, I was I would say mentally really really good out there on the court and mostly thinking uh, about uh, what I'm gonna do next. So that was uh, that was really positive. And what was the other question you asked? Uh, that service break was a 6-5 in yeah. the first set. Yeah. What did that mean to you there? Well, first set was uh, up and down from both of us, and uh, <coughs> he also had uh, a break point on 3-4, and I had a break point when he served an ace. So it was uh, the game was, I think we were, both of us were searching a little bit <coughs> for the game to set up everything, and uh, there when I when I hold my serve for for five all, I think uh, I uh, relaxed a little more. I uh, I had a little more confidence after that, and uh, he he made few unforced errors, played really bad game from that uh, side with the wind. So it was much easier for me to to finish it off with uh, with the wind a little bit in my back. What happened in the, the last two sets? What happened with your game? Uh, how did how did it click? I mean, I uh, stay li really. Uh, Focused on uh, on what I have to do, and I think uh, that break in uh, each of the last uh, last two sets helped a lot. And uh, as I was also uh, putting a lot of uh, uh, I was putting him a lot of under pressure and uh, serving good, I would say, and he was a little bit struggling to to get in uh, on my serve to win a few points in a row. So that was that was key thing for me, and uh, of course, definitely. That I was uh, playing from inside the court pretty good, moved him around, and uh, not didn't rush too much. When I had my chance, I was going for it. When I was in a tougher position, I would uh, stay in the rally pretty good. And uh, physically wise, I was feeling okay and uh, moving pretty nice. Marlon, were you surprised uh, that he wasn't more consistent? Because you played him a bunch of times. He's just, he's just a pretty steady. He made a lot of unforced errors. Yeah. Well, it was uh, it was a little bit windy from one side to another, and uh, it's tough to say. But uh, definitely, he made uh, he made a lot of unforced errors, and uh, that helped me a lot to 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 uh, be confident in my in my game and uh, the tactics that I put out there. And uh, that was that was also very helpful. I would say juniors were a very long time ago, and uh, it's tough to judge for that for that result. And I don't uh, even think about it at all. And uh, for the other one, for the other question, I think he won those uh, first three matches that we that we played. And uh, even though they were they were pretty close, I think I was uh, also playing pretty good with him all the time. And here I uh, I think I made this uh, breakthrough and uh, now of course it gives me gives me more confidence when I'm going to play other guys and that uh, <coughs> on Grand Slams I can go very far. Marty, where were you when Goran won Wimbledon in 01? <laughs> I, uh, I was at home of course watching as every other Croatian on the TV and uh, that was I mean his, uh, his fourth final so uh, it was a history moment for, for everybody. You were not by chance at that wild parade when you came back and you were looking all this <laughs> and you tried to No, no, I wasn't there. It's, uh, it was a little bit away from my home and I mean, uh, didn't, didn't want to go there too much. So I uh, uh, stayed at home and of course celebrated with everybody, everybody else. So can you describe what it was like being a pro tennis player Still pretty young, but you were a player at that point. Yeah. Thinking of maybe it'll be your turn one day. I mean, it's uh, he's the one who uh, brought tennis on a high level in Croatia, and everybody looked at looked at him at, as a hero. <laughs> and even from all the other athletes, he was uh, one one guy who was uh, who was most likable, and with his personality and everything. So. For for us, I think younger ones was uh, also big help, uh, money-wise, and uh, it was 
much more sponsors to coming into the into the tennis and also federation. So it was a big help for the young ones to come up and definitely, I mean, he also played with me uh, when he was finishing his career. He helped me a lot and uh, <coughs> so he's, uh, I mean, a really nice guy. Yeah. How did he help you? I mean, he was, uh, in 2002, 2003, he was uh, <coughs> staying in Zagreb and practicing all the time with me when, when he was there and uh, he uh, connected me with his ex-coach Bob Brad, which I'm here with and uh, he was uh, also a great help, otherwise I wouldn't be able to to get in a connection with, with Bob. What, what makes Bob a great coach? I mean, he was he coached uh, great players, and uh, he has a lot of experience. And he brought me this uh, this knowledge that uh, helps me to understand much easier some things. And uh, if I would be uh, with somebody else who is not that experienced on a Grand Slams level and uh, top level, it would be it would take me maybe a year or two more to to get some things out of it. So uh, I think I'm uh, learning quickly and. Uh, as my results show on the Grand Slams, it uh, it works pretty good. So, and uh, he he knows a lot about tennis and uh, other things too. So he's. Uh, Were you in Zagreb when uh, Croatia beat the United States? Yeah, yeah, in 2003. Yeah. Yeah, I was there. Yeah. Pretty well. And then you became part of the United States. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That was. Sorry. Sorry. And those are highlights, I imagine. Yeah. I mean, definitely this uh, this uh, victory over U.S. now in uh, July at home is uh, one of the greatest moments in my career as uh, as uh, playing for a nation. It brings much more than to than playing for yourself, and uh, of course, by that I uh, I am um, much more uh, knowledge in, in Croatia, and much more people know me now, and uh, of course they. Uh, they're expecting uh, ne this next tie to be also good for us. We'll see. Um, were you affected at all by the war when you were young? No. Ray, what were your feelings coming into the tournament? The results over the summer were a bit up and down. How are you feeling confidence-wise and everything coming into the US Open? Well, I mean, I'd, I was uh, trying to get uh, more matches on these uh, three tournaments that I played in Washington and uh, these two Master Series. And the uh, first two I didn't play too well, and but I would say in Cincinnati I played uh, some good some good tennis. I lost there to David Ferrer. He he played pretty good, and uh, coming here was maybe not easy, m maybe not the best preparation. But I had a week of practice and uh, got my thoughts a little bit back and. Uh, Worked pretty good, so I think that was uh, that was good good thing to do. But you also came back in two sets down against Levine. Was yeah. Playing particularly well. How did you turn it around? And, I mean, I mean yeah, I was. I mean, I was feeling that uh, physically I was able to sustain it for a long period of time, and uh, I first two sets I didn't pl play too good. I was missing a lot, and uh, he's kind of player that. He's pretty consistent from the back, but he doesn't have any big weapon, so it was more a matter of me putting my my things together than uh, uh, than something else. You were attacking in San Remo or Zagreb? Yes, in San Remo when I'm, when I'm free and sometimes in Zagreb. Any more questions? So how much time would you say you're in Croatia? Excuse me? How much time are you in Croatia every year? Just a few weeks or more than that? Like I mean, it's tough to say because I'm uh, finishing uh, finishing with the tournaments. I go back there, and then depending, but, uh, I don't know, two months maybe. But How would you describe to the tennis, the tennis right now this year? Uh, which part What's of tennis? You were here. There was a whole bunch of boys with you from Croatia. Yeah. What happened now? I don't know. I mean, they got they got a little bit lost to to for the young ones, for the young ones, everything. Yeah. Imagine yeah. The I mean, it's tough because uh, because uh, this from breakthrough from futures and this part is a uh, it uh, takes a lot of energy. Energy also takes a lot of work. I would say that uh, in Croatia don't have maybe some guys don't have a place where to to practice and get uh, some uh, best advices. So it's a tough to say, but it's more on uh, on every person how it goes with. Did you have any 
you call your family already? No. <laughs> Speak to an Italian? No. Any so questions? Yeah.